hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl hedva and today we'll be learning how i made my ankara beret so the first thing we're going to do is to cut out our pattern to achieve this i the bigger circle has a radius of six inches that's about 12 inches diameter while the smaller circle has a radius of 3.25 now the, the radius for the smaller circle was achieved by measuring the circumference of my head and using the calculation, the formula um, displayed in this video to obtain the radius. So I just used my compass to draw the circle. Alternatively, if you don't want to do all of that math, if you have a pot cover or a cover that can suffice, you are good to go so after that i went ahead to cut out my fabric that i want to use for my beret so the hollow pattern i cut out two two piece and the solid one i also cut out two then the facing i cut out one each for them so you can see we have two for the top um the top of the beret and um, two for the hollow and one one each for the facing so i'll go ahead and arrange my fabric and facing After which I would iron, iron it down. So I'll take it to my ironing board now and iron down. So here is what it looks like after ironing. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to put the right sides together and take it to my sewing machine and sew. So I've sewn my sewn the edge of my beret see how neat it is <laughs> so what i'll do now is to open press the hem i'll take it to my ironing board now and press it down to open that seam so i've done that here i've done that so what i'm going to do now is to okay at this point you can decide to sew down these m's like you can see from this um, leather beret that i made before i did two seams on both sides to press down those the hem of the fabric it's a matter of choice anyway it's not it's not an important step but if you would prefer that you can go ahead but i'm not doing that for this particular beret so what i'm going to do next is to fold and notch the middle so i can attach the spike of the beret just watch what i'm doing just a little notch very small so that you can attach the spike so to achieve this spike i cut out three inches of fabric three by four inches fold it into four on, put it on both sides and i sewed it that's all you need to do to achieve this. So I'll just go ahead and use my um, office pin to hold this down first, pending when I use my needle and thread to sew it. So, so the next thing I'm going to do is to take the lining of my beret and sew it to the edge sew it to the edge like that so after doing that now I'm attaching my spike permanently to the beret with my needle and thread
so after doing that i used my lighter to burn it just to give it a clean finish so now that we've attached the spike and attached the lining what we are going to do next is to make tiny cuts at the edge that we just sewed so that it would be it will be easy for us to turn the lining inside and it won't drag So after doing that, the next thing we will do is to attach the upper part of the lining of our beret. You would attach it with the right side facing down and sew the edge all round and leave about 4 inches so you will be able to turn out the beret. So here it is, all sewn. I'm going to turn it out right now. I'm trying to make sure all the edges are out and we don't have any ones folding still sticking in so for this opening you can decide to use your machine to close it or you can do it with needle and thread whichever one is okay for you, you can go ahead and do that then after you do that you we would um, iron the edge of the beret. We would iron the edge. So it's all nice and proper. Now, for at this stage, if you decide that you want to att attach a band to your beret. You can go ahead and do that but for this particular one i don't want to have i don't want it to have a band if you notice the leather one i showed us earlier has a band around the bottom i'm going to just iron this down and we are good to go so here's the finished beret and this is how i wrapped it to church on sunday <laughs> thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please subscribe share with your friends and invite them to subscribe also thank you very much and i see you in my next video